Friday is all about IVF protocols. An IVF protocol for ovarian stimulation is a set of medications which is taken in a coordinated fashion to achieve two goals. One is to stimulate as many of your baseline follicles to grow and mature before the egg retrieval. And secondly, you're taking medications to prevent yourself from ovulating these eggs as they grow. The backbone of every conventional stimulation protocol involves FSH and LH injections. Gonalaf, Bolestin, Menopure, there are many words or names that are used to describe these medications, but all of them are the same as the pituitary hormones that your brain normally releases to select and ovulate a single egg if you're someone who ovulates. These stimulatory pituitary-like hormones are going to be taken for about eight to 10 days, usually on day two or day three of your period is when it starts, or coming off of birth control or some sort of estrogen priming. The drugs that we eventually add in at a certain point in the protocol are called an antagonist, and this is medication that prevents your body from sending out signals from the brain to release any of these stimulated or growing eggs. These are medications like Cetratide or Ganarelix, for example. Another way to prevent ovulation is with a medication called Lupron, and this can be taken throughout the cycle in various protocols. At the beginning, it actually helps to release more of that stimulating hormone from the pituitary, but eventually it stops it and prevents ovulation. All the while, you're going through monitoring and we're measuring the size of those bubbles of fluid or follicles and determining when you're ready for the trigger shot. Once we have a picture that looks like this and it looks like we've gotten as many of them to grow as possible, you take a trigger shot. And what that is, is going to depend on what your response looks like and the type of protocol that you're using. The trigger shot might consist of HCG powder alone, a combination of HCG and Lupron or Lupron alone. So how do I judge someone's response to a specific protocol and dosage of medications? I ask myself two questions. How many eggs did they get at retrieval in relation to how many eggs or follicles we counted at baseline? Do we feel like they met their full potential? The second question I ask is, of the eggs retrieved, what proportion of those eggs were actually mature? If it's like 80 to 90%, I'm pretty satisfied with that and would probably end up using that same protocol if that patient needed to do a second cycle. Protocol choice has never been proven to influence egg and resulting embryo quality. So I base my decisions on how to maximize the number of mature eggs we're going to be starting with. It's important to know that choosing a protocol is not an exact science. There is some element of trial and error, and it's not always possible to meet your full potential, especially in cases of diminished ovarian reserve, where your response tends to go hand in hand with the reserve that you have. To learn more, check out my blog, IVF Medications and Protocols Explained on the Lucky Egg.